Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I got a great one here for you. I am so excited to be able to do this finally. It is the Waxer World live gameplay review where we're actually going to go into the fully live game and show you how it works, go through each of the processes, show you me actually mining and and doing the whole process as far as ninjas getting citizens and, and the fun stuff like that. A few days late, I know it came out two days ago, but just a number of different situations pushed it back. And I wanted to make sure that some of my ninjas were actually done searching for citizens so I can actually show you that process. Before we dive into the game and I show you all the fun details, let me go ahead and mention in the Discord right now, we are giving away a ninja pack. Basically, one lucky winner will go ahead and win this ninja pack. And in this pack could be anywhere from a, a human all the way up to a demon, which is the highest rarity ninja possible. So one lucky winner will go ahead and win this pack that's right here. In order to enter to win this uh, ninja pack, you need to go in. First of all, you need to go ahead and make sure that you are a subscriber. So go ahead and click that subscriber button. Secondly, go ahead and comment down below your favorite part or your, what you're most excited about for Waxa World, plus hashtag Waxa World in the comments below. And then third, go to the first link in the description, which will be a link to my Discord. Make sure that you are verified if you're not already verified, and then go over to the giveaway section. Go ahead and click this little guy right here. This giveaway is going to go for two days as of this morning, and the one lucky winner will be picked, and then I'll go ahead and send you the pack. You can open up and start playing. The nice thing about Waxa World is you only need one ninja to play, so if you're not in the game right now or you're just considering it, this is a great possibility to jump into the game with that one ninja that you need. So let's go ahead back here. In order to get to the game itself, go to waxel.net. There will also be a link to this down below, plus their Discord. Go ahead and click on play. It's going to take you over to waxel.net slash play. Um, and then you'll be able to play from here. Uh, go ahead and push start. Waxel Cloud Wallet. You can also use Anchor if you have that. Uh, I'm using my Wax Wallet. And it's going to bring you to the game screen. Let me go ahead and unmute it for one second here because I do want to highlight the music. Uh, I have it muted now just because uh, I'm doing the video and I don't want it to drown this out. So, but it's a cool, very 80s style uh, background music, which is a lot better than most. And I think you can hear it on here. It's much better than most games on Wax. It, it, it really gives you the vibe of the 80s pixel art style games. Uh, so I thought that was super neat. All right, when you first get into the game, look at across the top here, you have your ninjas, you have your citizens, you have your professionals, you have your equipment, and you have the number of different, uh, different uh, resources that you have. And if you click on each of these, it takes you directly to the category. So right now, the other way to get through it is you have the different buildings here. And when you go over a different building, you see its shadow. That means it's highlighted. And those are buildings that are interactive. The first one that we want to start with is right here, the town hall. This is where all your ninjas are going to be stored. If you're not familiar with this, you can have up to, from one to ten ninjas. And you can also upgrade this to for additional ninjas. But 10 is the basic max without a settlement upgrade. So that's why you see 10 out of 10 right here. And it goes from the commons, which is human, uncommon, orc, rare, undead. Elf is the epic. And then the legendary is the demon. I have two elves and eight undead. If you click on the, the different categories, you'll see that I am running my, I've already cashed in or I've already collected my my elf ninjas and that's why I have the two citizens here. What we're going to do on the video here is we're going to go through the process of checking my undead. And just be aware it does take a little bit of time. Um, it takes a good five or so seconds once you click check for something to pop up. You see I found a citizen. Woohoo! We're going to celebrate that right there. So we're going to go ahead and go through and check all of these. Um, for the the checking of the the search you do have to go through individually but when you do the when you send them back out to search 
We can do it in bulk, which I'll show you that here in a second. When you register, if you if your ninjas are not already registered, you do need to register them before you can send them out to search. Mine just happen to already be registered. So keep those in mind if once it's your first time logging in there. And the other thing that you want to make sure is uh, it takes a few seconds. Um, there's it takes a little bit of time for it to process uh, your requests. Um, so don't just click on it and then click through different things. You might it might mess some things up. So be a little patient. They are looking into this. They're working in for finding a way to speed up this process so it doesn't take too long. And you see, I am getting lots of citizens, which is fantastic. We want as many citizens as possible because it takes five citizens in order to go ahead and create a professional. So now I have three more to check and hopefully I can get three more citizens. That would be fantastic. All right, we are waiting. We've got another citizen, which is great. Two more to check here, and then I'll show you how to bulk send them out on a search. One more citizen. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Can we get a good 10 out of 10 today? 10 out of 10. Here we go. And wait for it. Oh, no. We want 9 out of 10, but that is okay. That's all right. It, going 10 out of 10 is very rare. So I did go 9 out of 10 today. So I'll be able to show you how to make at least one professional. Um, in order to send them out back out searching to bulk, go ahead and just click on the ninjas themselves. Uh, and just click on all of them. And then you see this bulk command right here. Go ahead and click on that and click on search. It's going to take a second for it to process it all, but then it'll show you that it's actually processing. It jumped over and my undead take 20 hours in order to go out and search and bring back citizens potentially. Elves take 16 hours. And then the range from human takes 24. And I believe it's 12 or 14 for demon. I can't remember off the top of my head. But all right, now that we sent them out, they are back out there looking for more citizens. So I can check back in tomorrow. What I want to do is I want to go over here and uh, I want to go ahead and turn five of these citizens into professionals. So you want to go over to right here and click on this. This is where this is the school. This is how you teach them. And then you have the diff different professions. You have the miner, the lumberjack, the farmer. Uh, and these are the crafters. Basically, once you get your materials, you can craft them into different things. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and make a farmer. Uh, you go ahead and click on that. And then you have the options. You see I have zero, zero out of 10 farmers. Again, the limit on professionals is the same. You can only have a max of each professional. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and click on blend. And then you can read through the description here. It has 10, 20 uses. That's the key thing that you have to see here. Uh, each professional has 20 uses. Once you use all 20 of those uses, that means send them out 20 times, they will be retired. And when you retire them, you have a small chance of getting a citizen. I believe, believe it's a citizen. Um, you have a small chance of that. So you can potentially reason, but remember that they do uh, basically wear out or they retire. Um, go ahead and click on blend. And then you'll see it requires five citizens. Oops, there we go. Five citizens plus a professional book. I happen to have one professional book, but I'll show you how to get them here in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click blend and I'm going to blend myself a farmer. So it takes a few seconds. You have to approve and then it's going to pop up and say, congratulations. There you go. You are successful and have a farmer. And now you're going to see you may have to refresh it. Um, if you don't see the numbers update, now you just saw them update up here. Uh, you'll see now that I have I still have 10 ninjas. Now I only have four citizens. And then I have one professional, which is my farmer. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go ahead and send my farm out there. I got a farmer out there. I got to register, which is the first button here. So you go ahead and click on register. It's going to take, again, a few seconds. And now you see he is ready to work. So go ahead and click on work. And this is the same with all professionals same process even if it's a minor and you see it's going to take one full day 24 hours and at the end of the 24 hours i'm going to get the products back it can range from anywhere there's three different rarities on the products you can get back basically a common rare and an epic i guess I, I don't know the technical versions of them as far as the rare names but they all will then eventually blend into different products which these other guys will use so that's how you create a professional and that's how you send a professional out there 
at the end of the timer, you, it's going to say check here. So you click on that, and then it'll give you a box similar to what we saw with the citizens when we when the citizens came in. All right, let's go ahead and check out the other buildings quickly here. This one right here is where your citizens stay. It is the camp. And here you can have a direct link to the school, which we were just at. Or you can go ahead and mint uh, 10 of them. If you have 10 citizens and you want to mint and either send it to another account or sell it on the secondary market, this is how you mint. You just click on that. I don't have 10, so it's going to give me an error. But as long as you have 10, you can go ahead and do the mint. If you buy one of the 10 minted NFTs on the secondary market, you can go ahead and add it by bringing it here. You just have it in your wallet You click on add and it's gonna check. And right now you see I have no NFTs, but it'll it'll tell you have them. And then you can go ahead and pull them in. All right, let's go to the next one. This one right here is the warehouse. Once I go out and collect, as, remember how I mentioned there are three different rarities for each of the types of products. When your miner goes out, there's three types of ores. This, as, it, as you go from left to right, it's higher rarities. Then your next guy, he smelts them into ten or three different types of bars. Wood, same thing, three different types. Then it can be refined down to wood planks. When my farmer comes back, he's going to give me one of these three things. Obviously, the higher rarity, the silkworm is going to be a, it's going to be a lower percentage of getting it, and then that can be refined into these different cloths. All right. Then we go over to here which is the workshop. But once you have those raw materials, uh, I should say refined materials, you can go through the process with your engineer and start creating products. And each of the products gives you bonuses. So take a look through all this, like the hammer and chisel gives you a rarity bonus, which gives you better rarity on each of the things. The other thing that you have to keep in mind is the durability. Again, similar to the, the professionals, you get 20 uses out of this. Um, and it costs this many material. This is the, the higher rarity, the iron bar, the teak wood, and the silk. All right. And then the, the chisel, I'm sorry, the, the pickaxe. Pickaxe gives you better luck, which means you're going to have probably a uh, better chance of finding stuff. This gives you extra capacity, which means you'll get more materials. And that's going to be the same with, with the saw, higher rarity. This is going to be a higher luck. And this is going to be a higher capacity of what you can hold. And it goes through all the different items. And then my farmer, for example, I would love to get him one of these, which give him higher rarity chances, a hoe, which will give him higher luck, and a wagon, which is going to give him more capacity, more so he's able to bring back, back more. All right, now let's go ahead and click to open. This is where you can get the books. Remember when I was blending the, the professions? You can either go straight to Nefty and buy it from there, or you can click on this, which will take you here. And then what you do is you go ahead and you buy one of the books. For example, I'm going to buy a minor book. So I click on buy. It's going to take me over to Nefty. And then you wait a minute. And then you can go ahead here and uh, buy it. I'm not logged in at the moment, but you just have to go ahead and click on that to buy it. And then you use that book plus five citizens to make a professional. And then last but not least here, you have the market, which takes you directly to Atomic Hub, the secondary market. So you can take a look through all the different items that are available. This is what's currently in game right now. But what, what you should notice is keep an eye on. You see all these paths, all these paths going in different directions. I have a sneaking, unconfirmed, but sneaking suspicion. It's going to lead to different parts of the Waxel world world. So that's great. It, basically opens up for expansion uh, in the Discord. He's already mentioned multiple times that there, he's going to be adding movement into the game. So you can actually move your ninjas around to the different areas. Lots of cool things. I am super excited about this. The one question that's always out there is, what's the token of Waxa World? Right now, there is no token. So keep that in mind. There's no token. There will be down the road when it's appropriate to put the token in there. Right now, it doesn't really make sense, considering the, the basically the process of going through and and blending up, 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 and the use cases. It just doesn't make sense. But I'm assuming once different parts of the world are added, the token will be added. So the way that you can earn in this game is by selling the NFTs. You can sell everything from the original ninjas all the way through citizens, the professionals. For citizens, it's got to be 10 at a time. Professionals, you can sell one at a time. 
And I'm assuming that's the same with the equipment and the raw materials, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. So this is a lot of fun. Uh, again, you only need one ninja to start. And for your chance to get that one ninja, again, go over to my Discord, the first link in the description down below, and go ahead and verify yourself. In addition, make sure you co make a comment in the comments down below. Include a hashtag for Waxa World and make sure you're subscribed. All right, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I'm super excited for this game, and I hope you are too. Thank you. I'll talk to you later.